welcome children next episode is about the right of doing work here you see in our previous classes we discuss about the work then about the energy then two different types of mechanical energy one is kinetic and another one is a potential see in a tail work there are two quantities which are the can you remember them in the case of work there are two quantities which are the on force and another one is the displacement work with these two quantities product force and displacement if we apply a force and there is a displacement then we say work is done if there is no displacement then we cannot consider work even though we apply force then energy energy is actually what is a capacity to do work a person possesses energy can do work there are different forms of energy among that electrical magnetic chemical and so on but here we are discussing about the mechanical energy this mechanical energy consists of kinetic energy that means a body when it is under motion then we say that possesses kinetic energy and the kinetic energy we can calculate by using the relation half m v square that means kinetic energy is equal to half m v square that means it is the product of mass and velocity then we know potential energy the relation is m g x e p is the energy which is potential it is the product of m g r h now we know whenever there is energy with that energy work can do but here we are going to discuss about a right of doing work otherwise it is called a power right of doing work otherwise in terms of power see two girls of same mass that a and b are the two girls their mass remains the same and they climb a rope to a height 8 meter a took a time of 15 seconds and b took a time of 20 seconds the work done by a and b that may be calculated they climb to a height of 8 meter and their mass remains the same so the work done by a and b here is equal but you see when we consider the case of a right of doing work 
the way sir this work done by a it took only 15 second uh, but here b took 20 second is the writer doing work here same is it the same or different that is writer doing work other is it is called work done in one second work done in one second then here total same here who did the work at more speed is A or B A finished the work in 15 seconds B finished the same work in 20 seconds so when we consider the speed of work it is A that means A did the same work within 15 seconds means its speed is more here speed is less so actually power is the speed of work power is the speed of work here the speed of work is less so the power here is less but here the speed of work is more so the power is more so right of doing work or power means it is the speed at which work is doing we know heavy machines that can complete the work in lesser time than a lighter machine or heavy engine can do work at the greater rate than that of a lighter machine and also a healthy person can do work at more speed than a weak person. When we consider the case of a Hitachi, there are two types of Hitachi, so there are one is with a smaller one and another one is we know when we uh, consider the rate of work, which one will do the work at more speed, the bigger one. So the rate of doing work when we consider the case of bigger one is more. So here we want to discuss about power. Power is the rate of doing work. So power is equal to work by time. Power is equal to work by time. So P is equal to W by T. Its unit is uh, the unit of work is uh, joule and time is second. So power its actual unit is joule per second and it is uh, called uh, watt. It is named uh, as what? Then it is taken from the name of scientist James Watt. Scientist James Watt from there we got the unit Watt. <coughs> one Watt is actually one Joule per second. One Joule per second is actually what is a one Watt. This Watt is actually a smaller unit so we use kilowatt one kilowatt is equal to 1000 watt one kilowatt is equal to 1000 watt 1000 watt is one kilowatt but here you see, we can use uh, different units, uh, there is another one is uh, horsepower. On horsepower is equal to HP, 746 watt. There is another unit of 
power that we use uh, in motor that means horsepower that is 746 watt is on horsepower so you have to remember actually power is watt power that means watt to by time and uh, when we consider it, it's a unit joule per second and it is called watt one watt is equal to one joule per second that means uh, when an agent do one joule work in a type of one second then the power of that uh, agent is one watt but it is smaller one so we consider bigger unit that is kilowatt one kilowatt is equal to one thousand watt that is thousand watt another unit which we use is horsepower Horsepower is also used uh, to find out what is uh, power. But in the case of an agent, he does not do the work at the same rate at all time. Sometimes, in the case of a man who do the work, suppose he climbs the same rock at first level, Within 15 seconds, then he climbed it uh, sometimes uh, within 20 seconds, then he climbed sometimes it may be in 18 seconds. That means uh, the rate of doing work is not the same in all cases. So we consider average power. In that case, we consider average power. That means uh, if the work is not doing, at the same amount in the same time then we consider the case of what is a average power we consider the case of what is a average power we consider now here some uh, problem given to find power See the question, two girls each of weight 400 Newton, weight is C1, 400 Newton, two girls each of weight 400 Newton climb up a rope through a height of 8 meter, they climb up the rope through a height of 8 meter. We name one of the girls as A and other B. Girl A takes 20 seconds while B takes 50 seconds to accomplish this work. Then is A took 20 seconds and B how much time? 50 seconds. What is the power expander? by each girl. The power expanded by each girl we want to find out. See question once again. Two girls each of weight 400 meter and they climb a rope 8 meter. And A, the girl A took 20 seconds and B 50 seconds. What we want to find? We want to find power. We know power V is equal to work by time. Here work is equal to force into displacement of force. Here it takes of weight. So 400 into height that is force into displacement that is H by time how much that is 20 second. A to be 20 second that means 20. Now we can cancel with the 2. 20. 2 times 8 is 60. And so this is the 60. That means you know putting this 0, we get 160. This 160 joule per second, otherwise it is called power. This is the power of the curve A. Power of the girl A is equal to how much? 160 bar. 
Now we want to find the power of girl B. Power of girl B. We want to find. So power of girl B C water. Power B C equal to what is water by time. What is force to displacement? That is four hundred into h by time. Here time is fifty second. So fifty. Then what we get? Eight times five. Forty. Eight into eight that is sixty four one. This is the power of the girl. Now see, even though they are doing the same work, but their power is not the same. Here the power of A is 160 watt and that of B is 64 watt. Now another one problem here given. A boy of mass fifty kg. A boy of mass fifty kg runs up a staircase forty five steps in nine seconds. Then. Mass of the boat is given as 50 kg. He runs up a staircase 45 steps in nine seconds. That is time is given. If the height of each step is 15 cm, find the power. Take g is equal to 10 meter per second. Then we take our second step. See here the number of steps is forty-five, and height of each step is fifteen centimeter. So the total height h is equal to forty-five steps into height of each step of fifteen. That we want to change into this. This much is centimeter. To change this, we want to take in take this in meter. So divide it with a hundred. How much it will come? Fifteen into this. That is forty-five into fifteen. How much it will be? Five times five, twenty-five. Balance to two. Five times four twenty, two twenty five, five four, five seven, six seven. So this will come as six seventy five divided by the hundred. That will come as a six point seven five meter. This is the displacement. Six point seven five meter is the displacement. Now. We want to find out the work. The base work is equal to here. W is equal to we can use as M G H. M G H. So power P is equal to work by time. That is equal to work P M G H by time. C M. That means his mass is fifteen g ten into h six point seven five divided by t t how how long he took to reach there nine second. Now fifteen into ten into six point seven five divided by nine. When we simply 
simplify it, what we get is a, when we simplify this, we get a, as a, it as a 375 bar. Then is a, you multiply this 3, then is a, and then divide with a 9. Then you will get a, its size as 375 watt. Once again, see, a boy of mass 50 kg runs up a staircase of 45 steps in 9 seconds. If the height of each step is 15 cm, find his power, take d is equal to 10 meter per second. See, here we can find out in these two cases that is m mass is given, that is equal to 50 kg, and if you divide with the 10, then you can get a directly force. Directly you will get a force. That is weight is equal to force. Then here this mg become as a force. So mg is a force that is 50 into 9. That is 50 into 9.8 or 10. Then the height is 6.75. On solving this, what we get a 3. Or that means 375 watt is the power. By time, when we consider 375 watt is the power. Here the power is how much? 375 watt. Now some question is given here. Question first of all, what is power? What is power? It is the rate of doing work or speed at which work is doing. Define, second question is define one watt. One watt when one joule per second. That means when the work is done at the rate of one joule per second, then the power is one watt. When the work is done, at the rate of 1 joule per second, then the power is 1 watt. Third question, a lamp consumes 1000 joule of electrical energy in 10 seconds. That means 1000 joule, 1000 joule energy in 10 seconds. 1000 joule energy in 10 seconds, what is its power? What is its power? See, total energy consumed is 1000 joule and the time taken is 10 seconds. So, power P is equal to, we know, work by time or the energy used by time. Energy used by time is the power. Energy used is 1000 by time is 10, so that is equal to 100 watt. So the power is 100 watt. Now, fourth question define average power. Average power is the total work done by the time. That means, uh, suppose W work is done in a time t, if the work is not done uniformly, then the average power is equal to total work by total time. When we consider the case that if the work is not doing at the same rate, then the average power is the total work by total time. Total work by total time is the average power. Now, we know the unit of power as a watt, but it is 
An electric bulb of 60 watt is used 6 hours per day. Electric bulb and its power is 60 watt. Used for 6 hours per day. of energy is a kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hour is equal to we know 1000 watt. So, this 60 watt is equal to 60 watt is equal to 60 by 1000 kilowatt. That is equal to 0 0.06 kilowatt. So, energy in units equal to energy in units equal to power into time. That is power in kilowatt that is 0.06 into that is 6. 6 times 6 is 36 that means 0 0.36 unit. Otherwise, kilowatt. So, the energy used is Energy is 0.36 units. The energy consumed by the body in one day is 0.36 units. Now, on activity is given, that means you can also calculate or find out the electrical energy consumed. 
assumed in our house suppose uh, you want to take readings that means from uh, suppose you are taking reading at 6 o'clock in the evening take the meter readings then again you take the meter reading on the uh, next day then you can find the difference how much energy is used there in your house within one day that you can find out okay from this unit we discussed about the work energy conservation of energy kinetic energy potential energy rate of doing work now here some <coughs> exercise given even that first one from page number 158 look at the activities listed below reason out whether or not work is done in the light of your understanding of the term work then we say in the following case is there work is done or not that you want to find out even that first one suma is swimming in a pond when you swim in a pond what actually we do we push water in the back then what happened the water push us in the forward so we move forward by the pushing of water there is force and displacement there is force and displacement so work is done in that case work is done in that case second one a dog is carrying a load on its back A donkey is carrying a load on its back. Suppose a donkey is carrying a load on its back. There is no displacement. Even though force is applied, there is no displacement in the direction of force. Hence, the measure when the donkey is carrying what is a load. there is no displacement in the direction of gravitational force so the work done by the gravitational force is a zero so the work is zero in that case in that case and third one a windmill is lifting water from a well a windmill is lifting water from a well that means water when moves out there is displacement there is displacement uh, that means uh, windmill that means that are, there are applying force uh, and also there is displacement uh, so there is a uh, work so there is a uh, work and for the one a green plant is carrying out uh, photosynthesis whenever there is photosynthesis take place uh, there is no displacement of food materials there is no displacement of food materials uh, so the work is zero <coughs> another one an engine is pulling a train when the engine is pulling the train the train is moving forward so train is moving in the direction of force applied so there is work here force applied and also there is displacement in the direction of force hence there is work now food grains are getting dried in the sun when the food grains are getting dried in the sun see this food grains dried due to the sunlight but there is no displacement even 
though some energy is getting from sun but there is no displacement there so no work is there and next one a sailboat is moving due to wind energy a sailboat is moving due to wind energy here the force supplied is by the wind here the force supplied is by the wind so the boat is moving hence there is force and displacement force and displacement so there is work so in the following case there actually work is done we in which of the cases uh, suma is swimming in a pond work a windmill is lifting water from a well there is work an engine pulls a train there is work a sailboat is moving due to wind energy there is also work now see the question number 2 An object is thrown at a certain angle to the ground, moves in a curved path, and falls back to the ground. The initial and the final position of the path of the object lie on the same horizontal line. What is the work done by the force of gravity on the object? See, we want to find out the work done by the force of gravity. If the work done by the force of gravity, we want to calculate or we want to consider, then there should be a displacement in the direction of force or opposite to the direction of force or at an angle to the force. But here is see, there is no displacement. There is no no displacement there. So the work in this case also zero. The work done by the force of gravity is a zero. Okay. Today we discussed about the rate of doing work. Actually, rate of doing work is called power. Otherwise, speed at which work is done that is power. And its unit is watt. in the name of james watt otherwise joule per second or watt it is a smaller unit so we use a bigger unit such as a kilowatt and also kilowatt hour this kilowatt hour is called unit in electrical energy so one unit in electrical energy means when the work is done at the rate of 1000 watt for or now when a work of 1000 watt is doing for a time interval of 1 hour or continuously for 1 hour then the work done is 1 kilowatt hour then that is the commercial unit then there is some other numerical problems here given with this all we can wind up today's class okay